Hi, I'm Sean Carruthers and welcome to How Do I on Butterscotch.com. In this series, we're taking a look at how to set up your very own home network. In this episode specifically, we're taking a look at the wired aspect of your network. Now, if you're doing this for the first time and you have a new device like this, one from Cisco that we have, a new home, wireless home net network uh, router, uh, you'll want to know how to configure that into your setup. So, if you have an internet connection coming in from the outside already, like a cable connection or a DSL connection, chances are you have it already connected directly from your computer into the modem that you have from your company, from your satellite provider, your cable provider, or your DSL provider. So the first step in this process is to check out the back of your network router. Now you'll have several ports on the back of this. Some of them are for the devices inside your house, and one of them is for your internet connection. So the first step is to locate the one for your internet connection. In this case, we've got one on the back that says internet. In some cases, it'll say WAN, W-A-N, for wide area network. So the first step in the process is typically remove the one that comes from your internet router and plug it into the one that says internet. So we have that now connected into the router. So obviously that'll leave your computer disconnected from the network because it's not plugged in anymore. So you'll want to connect it up to the router. Now typically every router comes with an additional cable. So the next step in this process is to connect the cable up to one of the free ports that says Ethernet on the back of this. So we've got Ethernet ports. In some cases, it'll say LAN, or local area network. Then you'll want to connect the other end to the place on your computer where your modem used to be connected directly, like so. Now, if it's cable internet you use to bring the internet into your house, chances are you're probably done at this point. Generally, it's as simple as swapping the cable from your machine to the router and then plugging the router back into the machine, and then you're done. If you have another connection like DSL or satellite that requires specific authentication, i.e. a password, to get connected to the internet, then what you'll probably want to do is you'll probably want to pull out the setup CD that came with the router. And this will allow you to run through the whole process and input that information in the correct place. Once you're done with that process, you should be good to go. Now, if you're using a wireless connection, there's a slightly different way to configure this whole process. And we'll show you how to do that in an upcoming episode.